All right, let's do a little stock market work with David Bonson, managing partner at the Bonson Group and author of There's No Free Lunch. S&P 500 up 21 percent and change year to date. We were talking about the Magnificent Seven. Uh, They are the bulk of it, somebody just told me. So what do you make of this whole big picture story, David Bonson? Give us some advice, please. Yeah, so much of it is related to bond yields, Larry. I mean, I think uh, over half of that S&P return has come in the last six weeks when bond yields peaked out and have really started collapsing. The 10-year basically has gone from 5% to 4% in just over a month. That's a pretty big deal. Uh, Almost all of the gain on the year is multiple expansion. What that means is the P.E. ratio, the valuation, has just gone up. Earnings are not up much. They never went down that much during the contraction, but everything's very pricey. So, you know, you were talking with our friends on the prior panel, the Magnificent Seven. They're trading about 50 times earnings. Mm. The rest of the S&P is trading about 17 or 18 times earnings. It's all pretty expensive. So um, inflation keeps rising slowly, but it still keeps rising. Liz Peake made that point. I think Kevin Hassett, someone else made that point. But I'll make that point. Prices are a lot higher than they were three years ago. Is that an impediment to this stock market? Yeah, look, I think the market knows what I've known for some time, that the inflation rate's been coming down a lot. It's not going to come down to lower than it was three years ago. Uh, But even now, Larry, this number's overinflated. The shelter inflation is not 7%. Mm. It's ridiculous. That lag effect is making it look worse than it is. Inflation's come down. The bond market tells you the story. Yeah, I agree with you. I totally agree. By the way, rents, even in New York City, even in Manhattan, Rents are falling, so I suspect you're right. David Bonson, thank you ever so much. We appreciate it, folks. I'll be right back.